Do they even have Wi-Fi on that cargo plane? The biggest boss, Ricky Ross, had a little bit of private jet issues. Rick Ross has been online gloating his private jet in the face of Drizzy Drake for weeks now. But it was Rick Ross who had to make a surprise landing, apparently in Dallas, according to the FAA. A Gulfstream G5 business jet's left main gear got stuck in the grass while taxing after landing at Arlington Municipal Airport in Texas around 6.30 p.m. local time. The FAA will continue to investigate Rick Ross. So thank you everybody for all the prayers, but I'm going to tell you, we on the jet and I'm seeing the fighter jet. I see his nose. It's like Tom Cruise from um, Top Gun. I seen his nose. I'm seeing him in the cockpit. And I'm like, damn. I see his cheeks and nose going back from the G-Force. I'm like, damn. And then, hey man, it happened. You know what I'm saying? I can't say what happened, but it happened. Come on, man. But I'm gonna tell you something. What I'm going to take back about Drake Old Plane, BBL Drizzy, I know you got the ashtrays and the armrests in that hindsight. That's really dope. Like, you know, some smoking sh you know. But we safe, everybody. He's claiming that Drake tried to get his plane shot down. I think he's being facetious. But is he really, though? The questions will remain. By the way, Drake has been going back and forth with Kendrick Lamar the weekend, Rigor Ross, and a multitude of others. Rick Ross has been doing all the antics online though. Drake's been doing it a little, but Ross has been doing it a lot and a lot of it has went not responded to or unresponded to by Drake. I gotta be honest with you, Rick Ross, who is my guy, y'all know I love Rick Ross. That dude is lucky though. Know? that Drake is very busy right now. You heard of this dude called Kendrick Lamar? He's got Drake really preoccupied right now and a few. Can you imagine somebody you've been beefing with publicly online over the last few weeks, even made music about each other, has been gloating his plane in your face about how you got a cargo plane and he's got a private jet, the real one. He's been flexing his houses in Drake's face and his jet crashes in the middle of the beef. And by the way, Rick Ross is a bigger guy. If Drake had the time, he would be tearing Ross's ass up. Pause, like it would be a field day. But again, that man Kendrick has got Drake preoccupied. And I heard the reference that Drake made to it on uh, Family Matters, I believe. But that ain't enough, man. That is not enough. I believe if Drake didn't have the K-Dot thing going on, we would get a whole song about Rick Ross and his private jet making a surprise landing because of a gear getting stuck. I can hear the song now. It would call Crash Out by Drake. It would be crazy. Time, love, and support. What your boy would never take for granted. On a serious note, though, uh, I know I'm one of those guys that still get a little queasy when I get in the air every now and then. We don't play about planes crashing, but I do think it is a little comical, if ever, that Ross has been clowning Drake's private jet for weeks now, and he ended up having some problem with his private jet and even tried to spin it and say Drake tried to shoot it down, like trying to play the narrative game. A lot of people say Ross has been looking kind of corny online in the comment section of everybody's post that has anything negative or anti-Drake to say. I'm out. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play too. All you gotta do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code FERRO, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app. Use my code FERRO and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? 
Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HoopsFarrow for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The underdog fantasy promo code is Ferro. The SeatGeek promo code is HoopsFarrow. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro.